Hi everyone, my name is Farooq Rashid and welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about Girl Script Summer of Code and the next steps that you have to take after getting selected as a contributor. So first of all, congratulations to all of you who have been selected as a contributor and I feel extremely grateful to have been a small part of your journey to apply as a contributor and I believe that through these videos I could make an impact if you all have been selected and thank you for all of the comments that you have been giving me in my posts and my videos and congratulations to all of you. One more thing before moving further is that it's today that we are hitting 1000 subscribers on this channel and I'm extremely grateful for all of this. I have been really working hard in this YouTube journey but this would have never been possible without all of you. Thank you for being with me and I wish you all good luck in your college life and just like I am a college student, so you are. So I believe together we can make an impact in our college journeys and make the best out of our college lives. So without further delay, let's get started. So what I have in my mind about this Girl Script Summer of Code series after getting selected as a contributor is that while I was looking on the fact that how can I make video about this, I realized that making one single video on all of the things all together will consume a lot of time and it will become extremely difficult for you to understand how you have to do all of these things. So I have decided that I am going to make three different videos that are going to help you step by step right from joining the discord servers to using it then finally making the successful contributions and getting them merged in your github repositories. So this is what I have thought of. and. To prevent you all from wasting your time, I'm going to upload these three videos consecutively starting from Saturday, then Sunday and then Monday so that your times are saved and you can get started without wasting your time and without much delay. So this is what I wanted to share with you all so that you all can understand how I am going to channelize all of these things. So after this, let's start with the very first step from where all of this contribution thing has actually started. You all have received congratulations email. So this is into my computer screen. You all have your congratulations email and I want you to open your congratulations email. In this, you they are going to tell you that you have been officially selected as a contributor in G-Shock and the first step. Finally, you have got your Discord server. You have to click on this link and join the Discord server. So since I have already joined the Discord server, so I'm going to directly log in into that. And this is what you will see once everything is done. So once you will log in into your Discord server and open through the link, this is what you're going to see in your computer screens. So you need to understand how you can use Discord. So basically, I'm going to tell you what things are happening with G-Shock at present. Last year when I participated, everything was on their websites. Projects, contributions, leaderboard and everything and discussions were there on discord but it was not compulsory but this year everything is totally changed there's nothing on the website it's totally as it is just just like it was before you were selected as a contributor everything that's happening it's right there on discord and it's extremely important for all of you to download discord and understand how to use it so in today's video i'm going to talk about what discord is how you can use it and what different sections of discord are and how specifically as a contributor you can solve your doubts and get started as a contributor that is the first step knowing how to use the discord channels so this is the discord server once you will log in to your discord ids this is the different channels that you have been linked to or that you have joined so i have a whole lot of channels like basically i was maybe participating in some competitions and i joined them this is for last year's G-Shock and this is the first one. See, the bar here highlights that this is currently open. So this is Girl Script Summer of Code 2025. So this is the main area of the charts. Here are different channels or basically you can say different sections of Discord that will allow you to understand how things have been happening. So once this is done, now what you can do is the fact that take a look at all of these things. We will start with the welcome. Here, what is there in welcome? We will start with the welcome section. In this welcome section, any person who joins new on this Discord server, their information 
is kept or maybe you can say is put on this welcome section by the program manager or maybe the core team members or anyone so if you have joined um i don't know they are specifically putting out some people out there or maybe only those students who are introducing themselves in the further sections so this is how it will look all those people who are joining it their names are getting highlighted over here what important thing they have highlighted over here is that this is the things that you need to know before starting your contributions so this is rules and here these are the same rules if you click on this rules button they will show you what are the rules of contributing or maybe taking part in the chats online in this discord server and basically these are general rules like you have to be respectful you don't have to be uh, rude to anyone you don't have to promote certain events you have to be very kind towards your teachers or pas or mentors you can read these things and you will understand what they're trying to say then is the announcement section and while i was looking at this announcement section i realized that it is more for campus ambassadors and all those campus ambassadors all those students who have been selected as the campus ambassador they would understand that here they put the weekly task the weekly updates that you have to send the teams and update them about what you have been doing so this is not much of a use also you can see that in this rules and welcome section you do not have permission to send messages to this channel so these channels are logged and only mentors or pas can send messages here not we as common students so next we have announcements this is done we have hashtag #boost in this we do not have anything so we can ignore it continuing further we have campus ambassador section here there are announcements of campus ambassador as i told you in announcement section similarly here there are announcements which are in detail about campus ambassadors about their weekly tasks you can take a look but it's all right let's move further these are the charts of those campus ambassadors who have been talking about their doubts so see this is harsha the program manager of girl scripts summer of code 2025 so he is taking care about of everything that has been happening right from if people are Uh, talking badly if people are contributing nicely if mentors are working nicely if project admins are upgrading their projects he is looking into everything that has been happening so these are general charts in announcements you cannot send messages but in general charts if you have some doubts you can ask and these people will reply to your doubts so what you can do is if you type hashtag you can link any particular section if i tag introduction section means you are going to talk about introduction if you want to add or just as we refer to a particular member in the entire server you can write at the rate and all those people who are a part of this service or who are part of this discord channel would show up and you can be tied you can basically tag those people so that whenever they open their discord servers your messages get highlighted so if i right click on this person who is the program manager now any message that i type over here he is going to be linked and tagged to this message so that he gets to know what i'm talking about so this is something that i believe can be helpful for all of you this cavc means campus ambassador voice call so if you click on this a voice call will start and i don't think any pe people will join this voice call so moving further we have introduction in this introduction you have to introduce yourself so you are new to this what discord is basically a server in which people talk about new things in which they discuss on network with each other see for reference someone has attached their linkedin repository talking about who they are what they do and what they want to look forward or what they look forward to as a part of the girls script summer of code so you can write your message with hashtag introduction so that it it gets highlighted that you are introducing yourself you can talk about yourself that hey i am this this is my name and this is what i have been doing and if you have any further doubts you can ask in this section and you can put your linkedin ids as well and this will increase your connections also because a lot of people will check your things and connect with you see some people are typing so we can actually see just like whatsapp here also we can see different things moving on to the next section we have hashtag general and in this section people talk about their doubts in general like i am 
like here they have talked about i am a person who has been working in aiml i'm not able to find projects or basically any general doubts that you have i'm telling you this so that whenever you get stuck in your process of girl script summer of code you can find solutions your own way you don't have to be dependent on anyone so this is your general doubts in hashtag media all those project admins and all those mentors or the program manager people these people put forward the github repositories that are open for you to contribute this for example this they're saying that we have a github issues tracker to help gshock participants to discover and more more open issues so this is the repository that they have linked basically this is a versal website that they have linked so this is the place where different mentors and different people have been linking their work this is where they have told that hey this is another project and you can contribute so if you're not sure where you have to contribute what you have to do you can go into this media section and look for different things related to what repositories are there and what projects are there in which you can contribute what comes next is what cmd this is basically cmd command prompt and if you have some doubts related to this you can talk about these things as well again you need to look into the charts and understand what these people have been doing but what i would say to all of you is that do not waste your time reading charts you can refer to these things definitely when you have doubts but don't waste your time over here so off topic they might be talking some like stuff which is not required so you can take a look networking you can put your linkedin instagram github id these people will reach out to you they will connect with you you can definitely do this if you are someone who is just starting your college who is in the first year and want to increase your linkedin connection this is definitely a very good way to do this moving further this is hashtag #resources in which again you will find some people who have linked the open gshock projects in which you can contribute so uh, exactly it is the same thing that you found found up now we have project support here if you have particular doubts related to pod- projects so what doubts you can have see maybe a project admin is not assigning issues to certain people maybe you have created an issue the person is not assigning it or maybe you have most if you have created a successful pr and that person is not merging it so you can write complaint at the rate harsha the program manager you can tell that this is my project admin and this is my mentor they are not assigning the issues to us please change the person or please find a solution to this problem you can do these things over here they are going to find out solutions in which you can contribute and you can do better at your work so also if you're new and you don't know what to do you can ask it out over here and most of your doubts would be solved over here when in github you ask your mentor that hey please assign this issue to me maybe that mentor does not open github as frequently as he opens discord or any other social media platform you can tag them here that hey at the you can write them at the rate this person kindly assign this issue in this project to me and this is a way in which they can find your tags in github as well in discord as well and it increases your chances to be seen on these platforms so moving further this is for open source newbies those people who don't know open source actually and they can talk about things and find out ways and solutions to do all these things and next things are just as it is and i don't think that this is going to be of any use for all of you so this is what discord actually is and knowing how to use discord is going to be extremely useful for all of you in your girl script summer of code journey because if you have any doubt related to the person who is not assigning the projects if you want to get guidance from particular mentors like you have been telling me in comments how to take guidance from mentors this is the exact place so whenever you are working on any project i mean say you are new you don't know how to do these things look at the github repository find who is the mentor i'll tell you this in second video how to find that repository and how to find your mentor but for this video see find your mentor tell that person in discord tag them that this is my mentor and hey i'm finding problem with committing my first issue i'm finding problem with understanding how can i actually make my first contribution in gshock they will guide you over here also if you don't know how you can use your skills in a better way if you're not able to find a particular project that you can fit in 
this is the place where you can talk many people would neglect discord thinking that this is not going to help them this is going to waste their time but trust me in 2025 discord is everything for you because there's nothing on their website in 2024 everything was on their website so i did not use discord in fact i did not know how to use discord but for 2025 you have to use discord and it's compulsory to do this because if you're not on discord you will not get updates you will not understand what's happening and you will ultimately be left behind in your contribution journey so this is the thing discord is extremely important and if you want to get guidance from mentors tag them tell them what your doubt is tell them what you want to get help into if you find a problem or issue with a particular project I admin mean, if they are not online if they're not assigning issues you can again write a complaint here saying that they're not rise uh, they're not assigning the issues to us kindly change them or, or kindly look into this matter so i believe you must have understood how important discord is in your girl script summer of code 2025 journey and this is all for the first video of this part kindly take a thorough look in the discord server understand what it is understand how you can use this discord maybe ask one or two doubts here maybe introduce yourself put your github links or linkedin links and this will make you good with the platform so i'll meet you tomorrow in next video where i'm going to talk about how you can contribute and where are the list of different projects thank you and bye